In this tutorial you will learn how to make wooden floor material for your interior scenes. I also show you how to create all required maps based on a diffuse map to have a professional wooden material. I'll cover different wooden floor material and show you the results of each shader. Also you can download one texture package for free to practice with me. Now let's dive in. Hello everyone, I'm Said Mandegar. Welcome back to yet another tutorial. If you're new in my channel, thanks for choosing my video. And if you're with me for a while, I'm so excited to have you again. First off, I have to inform you that by the end of this video, I'm gonna announce the first challenge for you. I hope you participate so we can have more in the near future. Anyway, this is the first map I'm gonna make from scratch. You can download this and the whole maps I use in this video in my Patreon page. The link is in the description tab. And for all my impatient friends, here is the result of this tutorial, which has a little adjustment using V-Ray frame buffer. And this is the final post-production I made inside Photoshop and Lightroom, which I'll explain how to do it in the next videos. Okay, let's begin. I start with the diffuse map. Basically, it's recommended to assign your material to your model in the beginning to see how it works. Next, I have to assign the reflection map, but I want to show you how to make it because many times all we have is the diffuse map. So here is the solution for these cases. I open the diffuse map in Photoshop and simply add a gradient map on it to control the black and white pixels. As it is the reflection, I'm gonna limit these amounts, but the choice is yours. Whenever you feel it's okay, save it in the same directory. As you see, I assigned a reflection map and now I want to add one more map to blend them together. In these cases, I use composite map. I change the blend mode to a screen so the white pixels will remain. This time I'm gonna make the glossiness map. I'm trying to reduce the contrast. Now the shader is matte, if you like it, avoid blending another map, but if you don't, add another bright map.
If you need more glossiness, simply make the map brighter in the Photoshop or add a color correction map and increase the RGB value. Now, let's make the bump map. I added the previous map contrast and also made a joint line before recording this video using the shape tool. Let me save and assign it to the bump. To create a normal map, I need to flatten all layers. Then I convert it to a smart objects, so it allows me to apply some changes whenever I want it. Then go to the filter menu, 3D, and select generate normal map. If you need to know more about this cool feature, I suggest you watch making normal map video. I put the link in interactive card up here and in the description.
normal map amount must be low because it may destroy your model during rendering. Take some test render and try different amounts. Here you see I applied two UVW map modifiers on my floor object. I used the first one with the channel ID 1 for the wooden floor material that is chosen by default and it applies on all maps I use until now. And the second one would be channel ID 2 for the next map I want to use. Basically you need the second channel ID for the maps that you want to have a different UV map size on the same object. I assigned the map to the rotate because it helps to add a new rotation so the surface reflects more randomly according to the map's data. Okay, now it's time to check the render size and take a shot. I set up the V-Ray before recording this video, but if you need to learn how to set up your V-Ray engine, don't miss this video. I suggest you watch it. I put the link in the interactive card up here and in the description. This is the final result. Here I have a beautiful highlights and shadows thanks to the reflection and glossiness maps. Also, I see a dirty plaster map made random glossiness on the surface. The bumps pop up very well. I recommend not to go that far with the bumps cause it may look unreal. So this is the final render with a slight enhancement in V-Ray frame buffer. And this is the one I made in post-production using Photoshop and Lightroom. I'm gonna make a tutorial to show you how I made this color correction and color grading using Photoshop and Lightroom. In this case, I explain some more details, use another method to show you more ways of making materials. In this example, I mix the map with the color to make a balance. Having more control cause a better result in most cases, so I try to use this feature to level up the quality of my shader. As I assign the map and define the color, I go to the maps tab to make that balance between these two parameters. I apply the same process on the glossiness. Let me just change the map, cause I copied the reflection map here.
Well, I divided the weight of the calculation on both sides. Now let's add the bump math. Ok, let's see the result. Here I limit the reflection and glossiness to have a matte version of wooden floor material. I hope it was helpful. As I have said in the beginning, I have a challenge for you. This is the map I'm gonna share it with you. But I'm not gonna share the rest of the related maps to this texture. So you have to make all required maps according to this video and use it in your scene and post the final render on your Instagram and tag me to see it. I will story some of the coolest renders and choose one as the winner. The winner get access to my secret discord channel to have one week of professional advice on his or her renders. That's it for me guys, hope you like it. Please hit that like button if it was helpful and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And click on that bell to be notified about the next video. See you soon, have fun!